Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Uh, we're getting a little bit of a late start this morning. I've been, I've still been trying to research about this Star Wars comic stuff. I really don't know too. I mean, I mean, I know a little bit more than before, but um. So what I did was I joined a few. There's a few small groups on Facebook. I'm talking like 500 or less that are like um members not groups right members that are yeah. into like um old comic strip art and stuff so i'm hoping i can get some direction there um because our, our plan still is to probably start out with auctions on these things um but i want to make sure i'm using the right keywords because um this could potentially be big money depending on what it is so i don't want to mess that up and also we want to make like we I saw some I saw some comments about like original art and stuff and this is not original art. It's not. It's not original. Um, it's like pre-production art and so like we, yeah. Candace just wants to be like really careful not to say that it's something that it's not or mislead or whatever. Right. We don't want to mislead anyone, but yeah. part of that is we have to know exactly what it is and we have all these terms paste ups photo I stats have probably and, 10 to 15 different terms people, and some apply and some don't yeah people have thrown at me or i found just researching um so i want to get somewhere that where people really know and i can describe what i have here like what the right. paper feels like maybe do a video showing the sheen to it um just that's a good idea yeah that's a good idea we could add a video and then act, yeah show that sheen mm -hmm. and kind of show like right yeah this paper that's mounted on is real it's pretty thin and and uh yeah, it's kind of like parchment paper it's on and then it's, it's like aged it's like a almost like a card stock um this that this is, feels like a photo paper almost but with a flat finish yeah and yeah so I don't know. So yeah, um, after we pull orders, hopefully I'll have uh, got approved for one or two of those groups, and I'll get on there and see what I can find out, or if I can find anything out. Otherwise, I guess we'll just start some auctions with the keywords we have and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. We it's gonna have be... to, we're gonna have to do something eventually. So yeah, I mean, it's kind of uh, the main thing is we don't want to say it's something it's not, you know, or yeah. Oh, I, I just stole your coffee. That's my coffee. That's mine over there. Okay, <laughs> all right. But uh, we we had a uh, we had a decent sales day yesterday. It, we we actually had a really nice sale on Poshmark. Yes, we did sell something on Poshmark. I didn't. Okay. I forgot to tell you, and I didn't know if you saw it. Really so. good sale. Yeah. So, uh, let's go ahead and pull some orders. Okay. And then see what else we get into today. Um, first thing you're doing is getting down a dog box. Okay. H, ten. I don't mind it as much now that we're not using those uh, yeah. big crates. Dog A, dog C, G, um, N. <laughs> is there any method to this at all? <laughs> what is going on here? K, M, L. Um, <laughs> wait, what do we got going on here? Okay. It's right here. All right. <laughs> I went. Oh, H. H what? 10 yeah i went through g over there and then i went h and i here and then i went over there but then we took our one off 11a and, uh -huh. and it's in now so it's over there i'm sure that all makes sense to you somehow okay as long as we can find them all all right so this was a lot of two um like hoodies sweatshirts or whatever for 13 dollars. all right we sold a 10 inch nutcracker on five charlie he's a danish major Go get that Danish major, Lonnie. Well, I don't know what a Danish major looks would look like. Hang on, let me see if I can guess. Because I didn't even look. None of these are major looking. Might be. Oh, if I had to. Eh, that's not a. Is it that one? Nope. Him? Yep. Oh, that is him? Okay. Yeah. It's an interesting looking hat yeah, he has on. He's got like. It's like fabric wrapped around his hat. I like these guys. This size. Well, mostly for because I like packing nutcrackers yeah. this size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they still have a lot of detail, but they're not huge. Right. Yeah, I like those. Um, sold him for fifty-four. We saw that spam puzzle. Yeah, right over here. Okay, good. We only have one puzzle left out of all those puzzles. Yeah, it looks 
awesome, huh? And the one we have isn't bad either. It's a uh, Marvel puzzle. So I feel like that'll... We yeah, won't have any problems selling that. Definitely sell. Um, $13 for that one. Okay, good. We sold a Jarvis Landry card uh, for Bravo A50. People are thinking about football. Oh, by the way, Candace, I, uh, I'll tell you now while we're on camera. We had cards on one Bravo. Mm -hmm. Just a few, and I moved them to four to this box here yeah so all right which, which one uh a50 it's a um a throwback jarvis Andrew throwback card rookie auto card oh yeah okay one of these little minis yep that's all for 14 dollars. that is that is a nice card let me see what it looks like well i mean it's got his uh oh yeah it's just different it. yeah mm -hmm. i like it where are we going now? Six Charlie, Princess Bride, Dread Pirate Roberts. Uh, okay. Did you put them in different locations? This yeah. This one has B after it. I did. Six Charlie? Yeah. Yeah, the only reason I put B on the title is just to... Just so I wouldn't get flagged for a duplicate listing. Yeah. You know. $14 for that one. Okay. We saw the um, violin... I'm three alpha. Oh boy. <laughs> I mean, oh boy. Three alpha. Oh. Well, that's where it was. Did we move it? Yeah, or something. Maybe you said three alpha. Yeah. It's definitely not on. Oh yeah, it is up there. You know what? I'm gonna get that down in a little bit. Oh yeah, it's in that white box. Yeah, I see the the end of it right there. I'll yeah. get that down in a bit. That's like a little student violin we picked up over the summer at a garage sale. It's like five dollars we yeah, paid for. Yeah, we sold it for sixty-three. Great time of year to sell instruments. Um, six Bravo. We sold the um, the Marvel Legends card backs with the comic attached. I made a lot of those. Um, we sold those. They're in a white poly mailer up there. Um, sold those for twenty-five. Th these are the from the uh, from the action figures. What? They're the comics. Yeah, that's okay. the card backs with the comics attached. I think it's these. Let's see. That feels like them, yeah. I'll pull one out to show y'all. Yeah. So I just I, I just left them on the card back and uh Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool actually. Yep. Yeah. So there was uh seventeen of them and I, I asked twenty five. I could have gotten more, but I had a lot <clears throat> excuse me, I had a lot of duplicates, so twenty five is what I put them up for. All right, we, we sold an um, autographed Shaquille O'Neal photo on 6 Bravo. Actually, it's not. Oh. I think it's on the door. Okay. I think this is it. Or no. No, that is not it. Okay. It's a different one. Yeah, yeah, that one's not signed. It is over here somewhere. It just says 6 Bravo. Yeah. That's it? Okay. Yeah. I'm not... You probably have it like in a comic mail or something. I mean, um, it might be in a binder. What? I don't know. Yeah, let's find it. Okay, I'll be I'll back in you. a minute. Okay, I found it. Um, so I, actually, like I was kind of surprised these weren't these weren't worth a little more money. It does have like some kind of provenance on the back too. It does. It has. Um, Know what I'm gonna ship this in. It has, it has a note to Mar Margaret or something. Yeah, Margaret Roberts met Shaquille O'Neal at our next door neighbor's house. Nicole and Nikisha Alexander. Wow. <laughs> and then it's got Shaq uh, to Margaret, and then it has Shaq's auto there. It has Alonzo Mourning in the picture. And it shows him. I'm not sure. I'm. I'm think it looks like Alonzo is blocking Shaq's shot there. Mm -hmm. The ball is not in anybody's hand. You see, you see oh, that? He's in position to tip it. Yep. Or some, I think. Are they going for a rebound or something? That might be it. That was a that was actually a, uh, quite the rivalry. Whenever Shaq first came in the league, it wasn't like I accidentally took this out. It wasn't immediately obvious that. 
Well, Mor Morning was a huge name at that point. I'll just put it that way. Alonzo Morning. And he looked so small next to Shaq. Oh, yeah. And you know he wasn't. No, he wasn't. But yeah, I'm not filming shipping today because I did that huge shipping video yesterday. Uh, film. I, I just I just offloaded the camera. It's an hour and a half of, of straight packing. So I'm not packing on film today or on camera today. Uh, this will go in some type of uh, slide-in protector or something for shipping we sold that for 15. um we have um a lot of 22 eagle moss chest magazines on 11 alpha okay i think it is this them they're on 11 alpha oh 11 alpha okay so this might not be them <laughs> <laughs> all right oh that's right we put them up here yeah, okay they're under that puzzle. yeah they're under nice the... work and with the uh, eagle moss chest pieces they really don't add value for most pieces and it saves the buyer shipping yep. selling just a piece so we lotted up all the magazines and um, there was 22 of them and we got $25 for them yeah that's kind of a little bonus right like mm -hmm. yeah because yeah, if you don't separate them from the figure you don't get them any more money usually and so. the shipping is more difficult too right. so yeah. It, yeah I mean it's I, a win win for everybody I think so all right, on one Bravo, we have um, a William Johnstone book Western lot. One Bravo? Yeah. Yeah, I just listed these yesterday. These were the books we got at, uh, oh, the uh, thrift store. We, we went on a thrift oh, yeah, yeah. trip one day. A couple weeks ago, we did a round of all the thrift stores. Yeah, and we picked these up for, uh, they were a quarter, weren't they? Um, I think they're. You paid three dollars and seventy-five cents for everything. For so okay. That's the only books you bought there. Yeah, that's all we bought yeah, there. So, so I think they were a quarter a piece. Yeah, that sounds right. And um, sold them for twenty. Uh, next thing is on Six Fox Trot lot of four World of Warcraft paperback books. Yeah, and those are going with There's with those. Order, yeah. Six Fox Trot. Yep. All the way down here. Okay. And those sold for fourteen. Yeah, there's some dust on them. Yeah. The dust these guys. I'll dust them off. Yeah. Or ship them. We sold a wrestling action figure on Ten Alpha. Tetsuya Nayato again. Oh this Lord. This is B. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, it's up to this thing. I gotta figure out if I want to get this down or go up. I think I'm gonna go up. All right, we hopped up there and got it out of that box. This one of these uh, these figs are really cool. What's it's Nieto B? Yes. Okay. And we sold that for forty dollars. And then we have one more thing on Poshmark going out. Um, let's see. Do we have an item location in here? Poshmark has SKUs, custom SKUs. Let me look at the order details. It is in hat box A. It is that um, that tiger stripe LSU hat. That you called Zubaz style and, or whatever. And then took it out because that's actually a brand. Right. So, yeah, it's, and it's not that brand. Right. There are such things as Zubaz or hats. Zo yeah. hats. It'll be on the label in there. But then we, we looked and like the other people that had Zubaz hats, it actually was that brand. Right. So it wasn't just a style. So, so And you can't really say Zubaz style because that's keyword spamming. So we yeah. had to just take it out. It is made in USA. Mm -hmm. and, and everything. It's a vintage hat and it's very cool looking. Yeah. No, that's um, cool. We sold that for 75 That was on Poshmark. So they so paid the, the shipping. Poshmark pays the shipping. Yeah. Yep. We don't so. handle the shipping on that. Right, okay. That's everything. Okay, pretty decent day. I still got to pull down the uh, violin. I'm not exactly sure how that's getting packed. That might actually be a UPS package. Okay, I'm packing over here still, and Candace found something that I don't think y'all saw the other day when we bought the stuff from a uh, guy. Yeah, this was in one of those boxes with all the different stuff in it Lonnie was working out of. Um, and, and he, when he initially saw it, he thought it was like a vending machine display insert. And that is what it is. 
Um, it's for some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stickers. It's dated 1988. Um, so I pulled it to go list it and started researching to see what I should list it for and pleasantly surprised by the results I found. It's so clean too. Yeah. It's in really good condition. So um, this one right here, both of these I'm about to show you were sold in 2022. This one sold for 41 at auction, but you can see how faded it is on the side. Yeah, there's no comparison. Yeah, like my colors are bright. <laughs> there's no comparison. The paper is in great shape. And then the other one sold that same year for 61 at auction. That's it? Yeah, and you can see... Um, it's better than that last one. It's but better, it's, but it's still ha it's not as bright, unless their photography was just off. This thing looks like it's fresh off the press. Right. <laughs> it really does. So both of those were auctions. Um, so I'm thinking maybe try $75. Would that sell for? 61 Yeah, why wouldn't this sell for $75? Yeah, At least. It might be 100 Right, and those were auctions, which we know... Typically, auctions go mm, for lower, but this sometimes is, not. Not on rare stuff. Sometimes. Right. Yeah. So, but ours is in better shape, I feel, than those other two. So. I think, yeah, auctions, man. Like, typically, like stuff that you could could buy and buy it now. Things that you could go on and there's like right. You have your selection, or even even if there's a couple auctions, usually don't do well. Right. You have to have something really special and unique about your particular one or just have something rare, you know? Yeah, and even then it might not do great. But sometimes they get way above, mm -hmm. way above what you would get at Buy It Now. You never, right. like, you know, yeah. hmm. I think you should do 100 or best offer. You think so? Maybe so, especially Ma since we're going into fourth quarter. Price soon. this sucker at 100 bucks. Okay. I'll do that. And with no offer. Okay. What do you think? Let's try it. I mean, we can always go down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's try it. I would love to sell that for $100. I know. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Getting my packages ready for the carrier. These are all packed. I still I still need to get down my, the violin up there. Candace is all stressing out over here. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's the most stressed I've seen you in a while. That's the one thing I do not like taking pictures of is chrome items because look at it. Yeah, we had to put our clothes back on real quick. Yeah. She said, Lonnie, put your pants on. I'm about to take a picture of some chrome. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like looking in a mirror, you know? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So. And, it, and it has some funky, depending on the angle you get, it can make you look... Uh, like the fun house mirror? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get the flattering angle. <laughs> Can you see up my nose? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> good morning, everyone. It is day two of this video. Good morning, Candace. Hey, good morning, y'all. So um, we do have some orders to pack today, but we have something interesting to talk about. It's something we've been seeing some chat about the last day. In the Facebook group, it's about the UPS ground saver option. And Lonnie has a very important fact about that that he wanted to share with you guys. Yeah, a couple of them. Um, I actually came across this. Uh, I do check, depending on the package, I do check uh, Pirate Ship sometimes. And I buy postage on Pirate Ship a pretty good bit. Probably two, three two, three orders a day end up with a pirate ship label. Sometimes none, but I do use pirate ship a good bit. And uh, there's been a lot of talk about um, UPS ground saver, mm -hmm. this right here. And it's it's similar to, uh, if y'all use UPS SurePost in the past, it's similar to that. Now, here's how it goes. And I did verify. Um, Ahoy, matey. Yeah, I reached out to I reached out to Pirate Ship and just to verify. So if you use UPS Ground Saver, um, what's what's going to happen is you drop your package off at UPS or UPS store, and they are going to take it most of the way to the destination. At some point, the, the package is going to transfer to USPS to go uh, what they call the last mile. USPS will be the ones actually delivering your package, right? That's kind of like the FedEx Smart Post, right? FedEx Smart Post and then UPS Sure Post in the mm -hmm. past. Mm -hmm. And I have used those services in the past. Um, 
in my limited experience with those services, I did not love them, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I don't love having two different carriers swap because... And then the tracking just stops. So that's confusing for the buyer, right? Uh, no, it no the tracking shows it getting transferred and stuff. Right. Um, yeah, I, I used to use it like years ago. And then I just said, okay, that's enough. Like sometimes the packages would take a really long time. Um, or they would mishandle them. Or if you had an issue, it would be a, like, it'd be a lot of finger pointing between the carriers. So I just stopped using it. But now there is, uh, UPS is kind of, I think it's new or maybe a new a rebadge or rebranding of it. Uh, it's called UPS Ground Saver. And um, I noticed that they were like just a little cheaper. Like, I mean, by a penny in a lot of cases than U USPS Ground Advantage. So I was like, oh, well, that's interesting. Um, I'm thinking that Ground Advantage is starting to cut into UPS's business. Mm -hmm. So that's, isn't that what you're thinking? Yep, or they're trying to um, head it off before it happens, maybe. I don't, but yeah. I, in our, in our like, we're very small, almost no sample size, in our case, our UPS shipments have dropped off significantly. Oh, I yeah. mean, by like... Did we even go last week? I no, don't think so. No, no because yeah. a lot of stuff that we used to go UPS, we now go Ground Advantage, and we don't have to go to UPS store. Yep. And the carrier picks it up with all the other stuff. It's awesome. I love it. Yeah. I really do. Yep. But now that I see this UPS um, Ground Saver, I want to talk about it because... Uh, they, it is billed as, let me go, it is billed as, okay, yeah, UPS Ground Saver, free tracking, $100 insurance included, okay, so like I said, you have to drop the package off at UPS or UPS store or something like that, right? You're not supposed to drop them off at USPS, uh, and another big thing, it does say $100 insurance included, however... If you go to look at the pirate ship info page on Ground Saver, and you go to learn more, you have to go all the way to learn more, and that's when you find out the fine print um, at pirate ship. Insurance works differently from normal UPS shipments. UPS Ground Saver labels come with $100 of carrier liability. However, big however. That coverage only applies to the portion of the journey when UPS has the package. If USPS takes over delivery for the last mile, UPS isn't responsible for it anymore, and that $100 of carrier liability no longer exists. As in the case with all packages, we recommend purchasing extra insurance on these shipments. So the big the big headline for this is $100 insurance included. Mm -hmm. You go to the next page over, scroll down a little bit, and they're recommending you buy insurance because it's not covered the whole way. Third-party insurance, which or, is USPS, I guess, right? Or, no, there's different, like, ship insurance and some I other. I gotcha, okay. But, yeah, so just, I, I think, like, I, I love Pirate Ship. However, I think the marketing of this, where it says $100 insurance, it looks like it's comparable to other services that include a hundred dollars of insurance and it is not so i'm not saying not to use it i'm just saying it's misleading i just want to make sure people understand that it's not covered for the portion that and and let's say let's say the package gets damaged it arrives at your customer damaged and who did it and who did it exactly yeah if you have two parties and one party is 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 covering like with insurance the other party is not and you reach out to ups hey uh package got damaged what's ups gonna say they're gonna they're, oh we got it like that uh, or no not we got it like ups is going to say oh, oh UPS, it yeah. was fine when we gave it to usps yeah they must have did it yeah. Now, what are you going to say? You don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so I just anticipate, like, I just want to make sure that those of y'all that watch the channel understand exactly what you get. It might be cheaper, but it might not be comparable shipping. 
And I don't like, I, I personally am not going to use it unless, the only way I would use it is if it was like crazy cheap and it ain't. It's not, it's not really that much cheaper. But no. um, I did go ahead and pull up. This is an example, having said all that, from 70726, where we are, 290210, which is the show. I use that for like... He remembers that zip code and it's far away. <laughs> right. Beverly Hills, California, right? 12, 12, 12 package, five pounds. Uh, that, that particular instance... Ground Saver, $12.18, UPS Ground Saver. And then Ground Advantage from USPS, $12.22, um, which is four cents more than Ground Saver. So what they It has insurance throughout the whole journey. This has insurance throughout whole journey. This does not. Yet under here, it says the same exact thing when you're going to compare. Yeah, it's misleading. It's a little misleading there, pirate ship. Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> Otherwise, I love pirate ship, but I don't like this. Uh, so clearly, like what Ground Saver is trying to do in these kind of cases, if you're just looking at, okay, show me the cheapest, then it's going to show you this. Mm -hmm. But is, is it really cheaper? It's four cents. Right. Most people won't. Most people won't bend over to pick up four cents off the ground. And for us, that means driving to bring it to you, right? Instead of having it picked up with our other packages, right? So. But if we had, if we did already have a daily UPS pickup or something like that, uh, then it might look enticing. Or maybe we just prefer UPS, and we're like, oh, well, it's the same thing. Whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll I'll go this route. You're, it's not not comparable. Yeah. So. Uh, we do have orders to pack, to pull, and uh, I'm not going to pack on this video. We have orders to pull, so you ready to get started? Let's go. Okay, let's go ahead and get these orders out, Candace. All right. Um, the first thing is three dog collars in the razor drawer. The reason she's laughing is because that was like the third take. We had a blooper. Okay, it's uh, extra small. There's like a 4th of July, a watermelon one, and a... Yeah. Razor drawer? Yeah. Three pack, is it that one? Yep. Okay. Those sold for ten dollars. Okay. Uh, we have a. See, this is this is uh when we bought that stuff like this, these collars here, those are probably the lowest value things or some of the lowest value things we had in that buy, and we did pay a dollar a piece for these. Yeah. But we also paid a dollar a piece for stuff that we. So for 20. We're, we're selling for like 20 something dollars yeah. so we kind of took the good with the bad but even this that's recouping our money pretty much and making money and this, a, yeah making a little bit still making like four dollars or whatever on the three yeah. so all right so we have well we have two cookbooks on three charlie you feel brave enough to pull them at the same time brave enough <laughs> brave enough to pull man what where what what happened to me where pulling a cookbook is considered brave they're both start with an S. Uh huh. Southern sideboards. Uh huh. And snake rattle and roll. Okay. Give it a shot. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's easy. There's a little southern sideboards there. Boy. And that is snake rattle and snake rattle and what, Candace? She said roll. She said roll. Yeah, Y'all, yeah, it's oh, okay. I thought you were gonna claim you said Rotel. No, I know I said that. <laughs> Snake rattle and Rotel. Um, that sold for 15, and then the southern sideboard sold for 10. Yeah, th this is the one where I'm like, that looks like some something your dad would have done. <laughs> I know. Look at that picture, y'all. I love it. And um, yeah, it's this guy, Crazy Sam Higgins. Oh, you know, old Crazy all, Sam. What's he up yeah, to these days? He's all cooking right. a Rotel over the campfire. <laughs> All right, we have a uh, McFarlane action figure on 10 Alpha, Gorilla Grodd. 10 Alpha. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be in this thing. Oh. Uh-oh. I think I have two of them up here. Yeah, quantity three is what you should have. Oh, had. okay. So I, I made one listing. Yeah, you did a multi-quantity. Which I usually do not recommend. For action boxed action figures or any action I figures. don't recommend it. I did it. Yeah. Pro probably because of the value of them, so I did it. The value is twelve dollars. But and they were none of them were like way worse than the others or anything. So he, he's cool looking. No, he is. I like him. He is, but yeah, that's not usually something we do. No, no. 
Um, we have a Bible that I just listed yesterday on three Delta. Okay. That that hardcover holy uh, Bible. Yeah, that sucker sold fast. It's this one right here, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know what? You made a good pick on this Bible. Like, when it comes to Bibles, Bibles are kind of like cookbooks a little bit. Well, not not exactly the same, but... They're like a bread and butter type thing. Th they are, but we don't buy all of them. No. Unless they seem some a li just something a little bit different about them to make them special, right? Well, I mean... As we saw, we picked, we got some from Kevin and Danielle that look like just your regular little leather Bibles that turned out to be like seventy dollars and up. Um, they were special because, I mean, they were old. So some of those, some of those leather Bibles look modern, but they can be old because they really haven't changed in their looks. Well, well usually that's why I was bringing it up is because usually when it comes to Bibles, hardcover usually no good. Right. Um, for resale value, I don't mean like a good or bad object. I yeah. just mean like for resale value, hardcover usually not good, but this is a different kind of hardcover. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. and not and it's not even still still then it's not like a huge sale or anything, but it's a dollar into twenty, and for us that's good. In less than a day. Right. Yeah. That's actually that's pretty awesome. Yeah. I'll do that every time. Um, we sold a, a little lot that I, I put together it's um two playboy mugs and some swizzle sticks and <laughs> olive picks for playboy okay they're on um, four foxtrot left uh-oh i don't like i hate i hate the uh i don't hate but whenever we get down to like the e's and f's the f's are really especially down there yeah let me see is it in here i think this is it here let you take a look at that um yeah that looks like it's probably okay it. yeah i have I'm... a c on there for some reason did i do multiple lots i don't even remember yeah that is lot c okay that's okay them. well we're not we're not shipping, we're not in shipping this. In that, i don't know why it's in this uh, i just i didn't want to get knocked out oh i know but i just yeah but yeah, man it was a big lot of stuff and i needed to label them okay so, so yeah but you put put me in a bind here though because now we have these we're, we're i'm gonna take these i promise y'all they're reusable i'm going to take it out of these and then i'm gonna put these back over here on the shelf and we, we just we're storing them on a different shelf than we normally store them on okay right? yeah <laughs> yeah uh-huh right uh-huh uh -huh. <laughs> but sure. yeah i didn't write on them so we can reuse them um we got 21 dollars <laughs> for that stuff i remember buying those uh mugs and stuff like we kept on and like the people practically gave them to us they're like please take them yeah we, we kept uh, we were like at first they were like well on like 20 dollars. i think we had how many we had like we bought some cool stuff at the sale and they're like they had seen us looking at them they're like you don't want the playboy stuff i'm like yeah and they i forgot what they sold them to us it was so cheap that we just we had to buy it and they kept on like well, they kept on lowering the price, dropping yeah. the price or whatever. But we had really. several, not just this lot, but we had some other lots too. Swizzle sticks and stuff. Like some right. old swizzle sticks. Um, next item is Six Bravo in the binder. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles vending machine insert. Yeah, we just listed this. You listed this yesterday, right? Yeah. What binder is it? Is that it the, one. Okay. Do you want to tell a story about this? A story about the sale oh yeah this is yeah this happened last night <laughs> yeah so candace listed this and we saw sold for what like there was one that was way worse but we showed y'all even yeah they were auctions and they went for around like 50 i think well there's another one the better one the one that was closer to this condition went for like 60 something mm, yeah and then we looked at this one this one was like way better than the one that went for 60. so candace is like gonna list it for 75 and i yeah. said hell make it 100. he said let's go for it make it 100. <laughs> yeah because of the condition and when we got a message last night some guy offering 60. yep and i'm like eh, i don't want to take 60 but now i talked to candace first especially on something that we just listed right candace will get Candace won't is not very happy if I ever do a deal on something that she just listed. Especially that same day, I'm like. <laughs> I know, I understand that. Yeah. But um, 
so I talked to her. She said, yeah, 75 is fine. That's all I was going to list it for anyway. So replied to the guy and said, uh, won't, won't do 60, but we'll do 75. And he said, send the offer. So, so instead of sending offer, which I like to, I, I prefer to do this uh, sometimes is. On higher item or more desirable stuff, we found that this is the best way to do this. And this is why. So instead of sending the offer, um, we went in and we revised and changed the price to 75 and messaged the guy back. The price was 75. You can go in and buy it now. Haven't never heard Crickets. from him. Didn't hear from him again. It was like an hour. It was a little over an hour. And I was about, I was like, eh. I messaged the guy again. I'm like, I'll give him five, 10 minutes. I messaged the guy again. I'm like, hey, just want to let you know it's been at 75, the agreed upon price for over an hour now. Just want to touch base before I switch it back to a hundred because I want to switch it back to a hundred. Wait, I waited about five minutes and then somebody else bought it. Somebody else came in and bought it for seventy-five, which was good. Which was good. We're happy about it. Oh yeah, and, absolutely. I mean, the guy still has not responded. <laughs> no. Obviously, he was planning on doing the best offer and waiting to pay. Right, yeah. and which is, you know, that's which is fine. You know, like it. If, if you're going to make an offer, this is my opinion, if you're going to make an offer and you're not going to pay right away, you should disclose that up front. Yeah, like, hey, can I, I just need a day or two to pay. And we don't even know that. I, maybe he got busy, forgot about it, changed his mind, whatever. Who also, knows? I mean, eBay is changing things on that. We had that happen to us a few days ago, so he may have been required to pay. Oh, you. true. So yeah. He, he may not know that, but it may have been one of those situations. Yeah. yeah so long story short he sold that for 75 last night yeah i'm just glad i'm just glad that it went that way instead of us sending an offer and then our item being off the market for four days and them never paying and not getting paid right i much prefer i don't like that situation no, no. especially with a cool item like that that already had several watchers on it yep yeah all right, we have a loose action figure on CC7, Xander. CC7. I got to admit, I was, well, I wasn't snarky. <laughs> you, you were, but it was deserving. Yeah, but I, sh I still shouldn't have done it. I felt bad because the the buyer was really nice after that. Okay, help me find this. Thing. I am. Let me come in here. It must be buried in there. Probably so. He's been listed a long time. But th basically, th the only thing, and this kind of goes along a lot of y'all. I was talking about putting like. Or I put the wrong location. A little biographical information in the listing. I must have put the wrong location. In the listings, and y'all said a lot of y'all said people don't even read the descriptions, anyways. And I think, I th actually think, people do look at descriptions more more than they get credit for i just think the ones that don't read descriptions stick out and so the guy the guy first started out by sending a message saying how tall is this and i replied with a screenshot of the description and that's the, that's the snarky part yeah it was the very first sentence in the description this figure is approximately six, six inches, inches tall, tall. <laughs> but he ended up being like really friendly and nice and yeah. he actually he actually did buy the thing all and right. now we don't have it to Let, let's find this thing all right we got to find it okay so we found it and all we did a lot of times a mistake we make because these are i make this mistake too uh cc7 is right here but a lot of times we'll either go above or below yeah, sometimes I get back over to my desk and I'm like, dang, which one did I put in? And I just kind of try to look for my desk and count. And I count. <laughs> Apparently I counted wrong this time. But anyway, it is right here. Yep. This is this guy right here. Um, sold him for $12.59. Okay. I'm, um, I'm so glad we didn't have to cancel that order. <laughs> um, 11 Alpha, we sold at Eagle Moss Superboy. It's in that bucket up there. Okay. He's like, I think, the last one I listed. Maybe, maybe not. Is that him? Yeah. That's Superboy? Mm 
I would expect Superboy to have a cape. Let me hmm. double check. Um, yeah. Wouldn't you? Like a like a little mini Superman or something? Yeah. It's definitely he him. have an S on his chest. But yeah, he's in different colors and no cape. All right, we sold him for um, $20. We have a dog harness. Uh, the last Martha Stewart dog harness. This is oh, not from the big dog box. Yeah. This is from Kevin and Danielle. That's right. It's on four Foxtrot. Yeah, gold. Uh... Yeah. Actually, we had quite a few of these. I see it already. It's in this little bucket. Ugh. Is it a size large, Candace? It is a size large. Okay, good, because that's what I have here. That should be the last one. We had some gold ones and some brown ones. Um, yeah. That one's over 13. Okay. We also have a, uh, the only other thing we have, we have one collector plate that we're going to have to get from storage. And we're going, uh, we're going out, yeah. We're going out later, so we go pick that up. But I'll show you that here. It's one of these binging grondle things. Yeah. And we need to go to storage anyways. So yeah. it kind of works out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff all packed up. Okay, got all these things packed and uh, very, like, very straightforward, relaxing packing session there. The only thing that was a, a little bit different, uh, these are the Playboy mugs and swizzle stick things. And uh, I probably, I probably overpacked those to some extent, which I'll never, I'll never feel too bad about that when it comes to glass. And then the, uh, the turtle, the turtle thing is actually in this box. And I also wrapped the turtle, um, little tote, what do you call that Candace? Turtle what? What is that insert object? Card. Insert, insert yeah. thing. Insert. Yeah, I actually wrapped it in cardboard, suspended it in paper inside of this box. Cause I want to make really sure that $75 thing makes it intact. It's made it, what, 1988 to now? How, what is that? How many years is that? It's like our age minus. Um, oh, 15 years. Mm -hmm. It's like 35 years. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, Candace did it again, y'all. Um, we got everything packed up and ready to roll. Candace said, you know, I, I have us uh, this morning when we first got in here, she said, um, I've got us on a pick today. I just need to know what time. She scheduled a private pick for us with one of her secret sources. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we were talking about our roles in and this gig of ours and that's kind of become mine as finding us um inventory you know which is the most important thing we do it honestly yeah. like the if you have good inventory the, everything else will take care of itself yeah <laughs> you don't have to it's tough it seems to get tougher the the more time goes by but yeah you have to get creative and you have to do the legwork it doesn't just fall in your lap and you got to build relationships yeah and you don't have to but, some, but it helps. Where we live, you do. It kind of helps. Some places, there's a garage sale every 10 foot, or, you know, the thrift right. stores are good. Not here. Around here, it helps if you have a guy or two, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah. All right, so um, Lonnie picked up a couple of dongles. Yeah, so we're going to show you. We have some hits and misses here. Uh, the place we were at, the cell phone reception was not real good. So uh, I'll blame any bad buy. I'll just blame on that. That's for easy. the most part, I think we did really good there. Paid four dollars a piece for dongles. These are probably twenty to thirty a whack. Mm -hmm. Is what we'll get for them. <laughs> uh, this was a bad buy. I paid eight dollars for this little thing. Um, I'll blame this on the reception. <laughs> yeah. And it's worth probably nine or ten dollars. I'm surprised. It's so cool looking. I know. Like, what, when is that from? Uh, probably not that. Uh, 2015. Steve Jackson games. Mm -hmm. They make a lot of like little role playing type games. Yeah. Uh, this Tandy disc case. I paid two dollars for it, and that's one of those things like where I'm like, okay, I just want to get this into a because it says Tandy. A collector's hand, but it's broken right here. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Before, so I'm, I'll pro and in part. See, that part that's broken is the part that latches it. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Keeps it closed. So yeah. I'm probably just going to throw that away. Yeah. Uh, that thing I paid $8 for. That is interesting. They're pretty rare. See the PlayStation type markings on it? Uh, this is a MIDI Pro adapter. 
And MIDI is like a audio format. See, that's a MIDI connector there on the side. And um, there's a sold. Somebody tried to run one of these at auction. They got $50. And there are a couple of other ones that are active right now for over $100. So I don't know where. I don't know exactly how much it's worth. If you look, you could probably tell uh, there are fingerprints on it. <laughs> it's got that thin layer of rubber that has broken down and it is super duper sticky yeah it was very gummy and um, i did notice in some of the when i was comping somebody put in in one of the titles not sticky which means that most of them probably are sticky yeah and so that one was exceptional so yep. eight bucks for that i think i paid i paid up for this too i thought it was a real clean looking uh like even like the rubber on top mm -hmm. here and here is real clean and it's a really nice condition just gamecube wire controller paid eight dollars for that and that probably was a little too much uh that is a game boy case i actually paid ten dollars for that it's pretty clean it's a game boy color case yeah candace looked it up on the way back i forgot to look that up yeah. <laughs> before i bought it but I, I sold, uh, we got a little Game Boy Advance Pokemon case from Kevin and Danielle that sold for like 60 bucks or something. I saw this and I'm like, okay, surely that's got to be worth picking up. Um, and it, what, we'd probably get $20, $25. Yeah, which I'm surprised. It's got a cool look to it. It does. Yeah, and that's like embroidered. Mm hmm So. Yeah. But, it, but it'll still, we'll still make a little money on it paid four dollars for this oh i thought that was part of this <laughs> no this is a power supply uh oem power power supply for a ps vita paid for the, they go for about 20 plus okay. ship okay. which that's fine that's a that's a three minute listing right. and, a, and yeah. a two minute pack you know yep. this is a heavy hitter we've got some heavy hitters here y'all yeah. uh this is a heavy hitter lomo instant auto mat and look i want you to see See that tape right there that gift means wrap. it was a gift yeah which means a gifts or have a higher chance of not being used in something especially when they look like this still, look at that still like with this plastic over i it. think it, i i haven't really looked at it hard but i'm pretty sure this is not used i paid 20 dollars for this i'll have to investigate it further and i may sell new open box or i might might sell in used condition i think this is probably the film but let me show y'all i did pull up comps i did i did comp this on site but i wasn't exactly sure what we had i think it's something like this though it makes instant photos yeah see look they got 151 dollars for that yeah. used and the prices are just great like these are just just for the camera or something and we have this whole set with the lenses and stuff right I have, i'll have to find our exact setup that There's, looks that uh -oh. was an auction new open box auction yikes yeah Ugh. which is crazy because look right below there somebody just did a buy now for 60 open box with just the camera yeah so yeah auctions sometimes are not good what was that i think you passed that one up right there did you this look? yeah that, that's similar our, our color scheme or whatever is it's different really cool looking but it has like a with the colors it's so retro looking mm -hmm. yeah that's that was the whole yeah. the whole idea but i thought that was really neat uh for twenty dollars that was a that was a score i think yep um this is harajuku lovers perfume it feels pretty that's gwen stefani by the way for yep. the um it feels pretty full and it's the bigger bottle um i paid four dollars for it looks like they go for about 40 35 40. new or new but yours is not new right well i saw some like this and they're calling it new so you know how that goes with perfume how can you'll never be able to tell if it's new or not no you can't I mean, so what do you so how do you know you don't know i bet it came with um plastic wrap over it well how do you like you can't see in it no you can't so how are you going to what do you do I think it, you. It feels pretty you full. You can't tell used perfume now. Remember that. I know. So you kind of have to just sell the bottle, you know. Okay. 
I don't know. I'm gonna have right. to investigate you, you, that. That's gonna be yours because that, that's that's one of those <laughs> listings where it gets all complicated and uh, having to explain this. And, th and that that's, might be Mercari and Poshmark. And you can't even see the level of the of the right. liquid in there. Right. Oh, they have to. When I do this, I feel it sloshing around. I mean, I can kind of. Yeah. It's pretty full. I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But how do you describe that? Yeah. I would. I would probably say half full. I don't know. Three quarter uh, it's probably going to be a Mercari Poshmark item. Okay. You know, I don't know if I want to take the chance on eBay since we can't see how much is actually in there. I agree with you on that. Yeah. I, I'd say, listen, that to me, uh, that uh, that would probably just fly on Poshmark. Just probably boom, so. yeah. gone. Yeah. You know? Okay, um, this is the heavy hitter here. This is a heavy hitter here. Um, this is Miss Six Flags. It's a um, nodder, an old nodder, bobblehead, whatever you want to call it. Um, I paid up for it. <laughs> I thought at the time I paid $40 and I comped it and I talked to her about it. She had comped it. And I think we, when we comped it, we both did the same thing. Um, when we searched on worth point, I typed in miss six flags and I just put bobble. I didn't put head. Um, I didn't put nodder and it brought me up some listings that showed me like 180 to $200. And she's like, yeah, you know, that thing sells for like $200. I'm like, yes, that's what I'm seeing too. Got home and um, started researching more. And I searched bobblehead as one word. And this is what I found. Yeah, there's one. And, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I'm um, in January of 2022. And I did find this exact one on Worth Point. They were originally asking like $600. And they end up selling it for $450. And then um, October, uh, two years ago, one sold for 300 Damaged. Damaged, yeah. That says damaged. There's this one says mint. Uh, yours is in great condition. Yep. There's no actives right now. So if somebody's looking for that, they're going to buy mine. And you're going to charge 450 probably, huh? At least, yeah. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, yeah. I have a question for you, though. Mm -hmm. This title says Miss Six Flags Hottie Nodder. Hottie nodder? I, I don't know what that means. A hottie? That's a hottie? I don't know. I don't know what a hottie nodder is. I, I know I know what a hottie is. <laughs> I've heard of that before. Do you have to do that when you say it? Oh, I did. I did kind of. I know what a hottie is. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I didn't see. There's definitely no. I mean, there's nothing major. I don't see. I don't even see like. I see a manufacturing little bump yeah, there. There. That's a manufacturing thing, though. And also there, you can see because the right. paint is over it. Right. It's a little but bump. She looks good. There's a little flea bite there. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yep. But um, yeah, she looks great. It would. It. There's def certainly nothing that would make you want to say. Like the original tag is on there. Oh my gosh. Sixty nine cents. Holy, Candace. That, that's a $50 tag. That's a $500 nodder now. Yep. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's a $500. 69 cents. That's a $500 hottie. <laughs> hottie nodder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was a... Come on, give me a fist pump. Come on. <laughs> okay, so Candace had the huge score with the uh, hottie nodder. Yeah. <laughs> Little Miss... Little, Little Miss, Miss Hottie. Little Miss Hottie nodder. Um... I, here's my score so I found these three things in a garage and they said make an offer I offered a hundred bucks yep. and I did look I looked this sort of looked this up I looked that up I did not look that up so here we have these are some buyer dynamic professional audio headphones and that is like a, a velour yeah they it does have another set of ear cups there that yeah. are normal they look like they're in good condition i don't think those are ever used and then um here's the only thing though okay i can tell i can't tell what model these are it was right here but it looks like it's kind of rubbed off so we, we don't know what model we have you can kind of see on this side too it's definitely DX something something. And then the other side has Pro. <laughs> right. And so DX something Pro. So there was some kind of, now I actually already plugged these into the computer because the jack is just a mini plug and they sound great. They work. Good. So no, no issues there. Um, 
I could show y'all like these are kind of the prices here of that brand of that brand yeah. and I'm just not sure which ones we have I'll have to yeah. do a little research and and definitely gonna have to take a little less money than everybody else because uh, they do have a little wear on them yeah it might be like these I'm not really audio file something let's see what do these look see, like on the sides no they've got like that grill cover looking thing yeah I saw I saw these ear cups I'm like oh those are the same ones I have but yeah, yeah I mean what it, at least 50 60 bucks yeah, I minimum so. I think yeah. uh, this is the big daddy here this is a Digitact Electron Digitact 8 voice digital drum computer and sampler um, I also was able to dig and find the power supply, which is awesome. Yeah. And when I turn it on, you get power. It powers up. The unit is like super duper clean looking. Mm -hmm. And it appears like whenever I turn things and stuff, I can see things happen. Yeah. There. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing, of course, but I, I definitely see things yeah. working. Uh, and we should be able to hear some things. There is a uh, headphone output here, along with MIDI outputs and all this other stuff. But I should be able to at least do some very basic testing to like make sure I hear things or whatever. But it's so clean, and it does see. Yeah, I mean, the buttons all light up when you yeah, push the, them. Yeah, I don't see anything that would make me think it wouldn't work yet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, check out this. This here's the last Soul Comp for that whatever that thing i mean i know it's some kind of drum machine or whatever look that's a 710 dollars and 59 cents free ship and other ones are not quite as high some are higher this is pre owned they have the box that's an auction auction 532 minty i bet if you're 517. able to get it like where you can have sound where it can be heard and put put a video of that it's probably so it's probably about five or six huh i would say i would say 550 to 600 dollars. yeah somewhere in there mm -hmm. so that was a big time score and this is like super clean it yeah. really is clean yeah which i couldn't believe because i got i dug it out of a box right with with this all three of these were in the same box so this was the score of the day um yeah it's very very similar to your score my little miss hottie yeah yeah so between those two we got a got about a grand yeah it's awesome uh this is a kicker zx 300.1 amp we we glanced at the comps on this i probably should have left this um but i didn't and it's probably worth what 60 70 dollars yeah. yeah plus shipping mm -hmm. so uh yeah we we are pretty excited though about not just not just the heavy hitters but all all the stuff I feel like we we did really we spent like what two hundred thirty dollars there. Yeah, um, we did, and it was fun because there was a lot of stuff there, and I, I'm happy to put the stuff we got. I really oh. am. I'm excited. We got some cool stuff. Me too. So. The best part is it it's a it's a random uh, what's it Wednesday. Yeah. Sourcing a non sourcing day. A non sourcing day. We score like that. That felt good. Yeah. So. We're, we're pretty we're pretty happy right now we're pretty excited so um yeah hope y'all enjoyed the video thanks a bunch for watching and we will see y'all again soon bye y'all bye